Hey y'all! Welcome back for another Animal Crossing video on our Forever Island titled Leilani. Today, I'm going to go ahead and share this graphic that I created for you guys. It's our 100% completion list. And it's everything that we've been talking about, checking off for this Forever Island to say that like, okay, I completed Animal Crossing game and I'm ready for the next one whenever Nintendo decides to bless us with it. I went ahead and put the link for this graphic in the description box below. So all you cozy friends who are playing along with me, feel free, print it out or add it to your digital planner and check out the things that you complete as you play along. Great, now that we have our list, let's get into this gameplay. So on Leilani, I am currently getting kicked out of the Nook shop because I fell asleep with a game on and the shop is now closed and Tommy, Timmy and Tommy are being so sweet and letting me know that um, as much as we do enjoy your company, it's past our closing time. So we'll be looking forward to seeing you here again. <laughs> yeah, your girl got kicked out of the Nook shop. Can't say it's the only place I've been kicked out. I'm just joking. I've never, I don't think I've ever been kicked out of a, an establishment before. Maybe that might change one day. I hope not. <laughs> so as of now Timmy and Tommy shop is the only place I haven't kicked out of and it probably won't be the last I leave my switch on all the time so they're most likely going to kick me out every gameplay if I'm still in the shop but that's fine because it's a new day on Leilani alright Tom what news you got for us today hello everyone this is Tom Nook it's 11:17 this happy Tuesday. There's really not much news today, so instead I'll share some valuable tips about Leilani living. Well, while he's doing that, I'll just update you guys about what's been going on off stream. So we got Blathers and his tent is set up. Uh, as you can see, I put down some little flowers. I need to move this one row over just one bit. I put down some flowers to try to map out the entrance. And I've been placing random items to earn points towards a three-star rating. I have like a random fish over there, a random fish over there. I place flowers here and there as well. Trash can in a right outside of resident services. That's to allow me to dump items that I know I'm probably not gonna wear and I'm probably not gonna get to villages as gifts. Speaking of, let's talk to Tom Nook. He should be up to something. Okay guys, let me let you know what's going on here. It looks like Tom Nook has promised someone else a getaway package like he did for us. But he's going to be expecting us to do all the work to make sure their accommodations are ready prior to them getting here. That's fine. Um, sounds like we're getting a villager hunt. Yay! For those of you who have never played Animal Crossing, I don't know how. You haven't played yet, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Tom Nook is going to give us three housing kits, and we are going to have to go place them down, build all the items, put them into this construction box, and then go find the villagers to get in this home. Now, we could allow Tom Nook to fill up our homes himself, and that is a gamble, folks. It's a gamble because Tom Nook... He has not gave me the best villagers before. When I rolled the dice and had Tom Nook fill up my houses, I got Ow. Yes, Ow. And it took him forever to leave. That was my very first island. I didn't know any better. And I was stuck with Ow for like uh, really longer than what it should have been because I refused to talk to him. And he was there for a good three to five months. Then I got Ed because of Tom, which I like Ed, but... I, I would not have picked Ed out of a lineup. I would not. That Bang Yang, it was that little blonde Bang Yang. Mm -mm, no. I always felt like Ed needed a ponytail to match that Bang Yang. Like, come on, people. He's a horse. Then he gave me Norma, which was fine. I liked Norma for a bit until those pigtails in the back of her head were driving me crazy because they just weren't they just weren't braided down to the neck. And it was it was struck in. Um, who else did I get from Tom Nook? I got Benedict, 
<laughs> we'll just leave that right there. Now, the one villager that I got as a rando from Tom Nook that I actually grew to love and appreciate was Hippo. I love that man. Hippo and Beardo. Those are my guys. Those are my randoms from Tom Nook that I was like, you know what? I, I wouldn't have chose you, but I'm glad you're here. And if I can find the picture on my Instagram, Hippo had to go. He had to go because he kept peeping in Norma's window. And it was starting to become a problem on the island. So I'll just place that picture here for you guys. Yeah. So after we check out the shop, let's go on a villager hunt. And would you look at there, selling those shells actually got me some Nook Mount rewards. Let's go. So I'm going to buy this cute pink tool cart. I could definitely see me creating like a crafting tool area somewhere on the island for that. The stereo... I could use but I'm not gonna get right now I know I need these books because I'm gonna need these books to build the bookcases for my library that I think I might want to do either in my house or outside of the museum I don't know why but the library just always goes well with the museum probably because it just gives Blathers a cute little spot to do all his studying of his insects that he's afraid of since each bookcase takes about five books to craft I think it's best that I stock up now. That way, whenever I get the bookshelf recipe, we'll be ready to get our library build started. I already have a few ideas in mind, thanks to Pinterest. I don't think I'm going to do the dark mahogany brown library bookcases either. I'm probably going to go with the lighter color bookcases and really make it pop. Well, let's check out our Critopedia and see how far we have to go with that. Okay, so it looks like we have a long way to go with capturing our bugs. We're doing okay with the fish, but we have a lot of little empty spots here. It's not showing that we've donated the dab to Blather, so I wonder if that's going to change. Yeah, horse macro, macro either, so I wonder if that's going to change after the museum gets built. So we'll need to give him his final bug so that he can give us a real museum building and villager hunt. I wonder how many more bugs I have to give Blathers in order for him to say that he's ready to build the museum building. Let's check it out. Good morning, Blathers. That's embarrassing. I guess we'll catch some bugs or critters and then he'll let us know how many more he needs us to donate before he can build our museum. If that's the case, we can get this villager hunt started. Let's head off to the airport. Oh, I should probably empty my pockets. Okay, let's just dump this stuff down right here. And I'm going to need some tickets. So let's put these flowers here. And what I could do is use these flowers to map out how I want to terraform later. Since I don't have the terraforming capability as of now, I know I want some water and perhaps a bridge right here. But let me know, is it silly to have a bridge right here although they technically give us a bridge from the airport? Hmm, I don't know. But I know I want the entrance to be very grandiose. So let's empty these pockets. We need our Nook Mile tickets. And then we can catch this flight. Sorry, I just had to move these things over. I recently upgraded our home. And the room is a little bigger so the things aren't against the wall. Let's just tidy up a little bit. We'll push this back here. And mm, one more thing. Let's slide this over. Eventually, I'll get the recipe to build a nice little accent table here, and I can have the record player and maybe a book. Let's see. Yeah, much better. 
So let's get a book out of my pocket. And you know what? It'll be easier if I just place the book directly in the spot that I want it to be. Yeah, I think that'll warm up the entrance a little more. So for now, we'll just place all these items into storage so we can prepare for our villager hunt and catching some bugs and bringing back some resources. I know when I go on the island, I want to get the wasp and I want to shake trees because if you're on an island and you shake trees, sometimes you can get items. And we definitely need items since it's such a fresh start. Before I put these flowers away, I'm going to be using this ACNH flower breeding guide to determine how many flowers I actually need to purchase and start from seeds. I'll put the diagram here on the screen so you all can use it along with me. According to this guide, it looks like I'll only need two yellow rose seeds. Yeah, and it looks like I need four, or no, five red rose seeds. I'll keep two of the yellow rose bags and then those will be for my specific flower hybrid garden and then the other yellow rose bags that I have I can use those to decorate my island however which we seem fit for the area that way I know exactly which flowers are going to be for the garden and which ones are going to be for making a spot look cute so let's hurry up put these items away get our 10 tickets Ooh, you guys should we villager hunt with just 10 tickets? We have three spots to fill. Yeah, let's do it. So I saw this video. I know Kay Daisy has done it before where she villager hunts with just 10 tickets. That's it. If she doesn't find who she's looking for by the 10th ticket, you have to take who you have on the last ticket. I think that will help me not be so indecisive and pick the same villagers. I tend to always go for cookie, which... Guys, if I see Cookie, we're getting her. No if ands, buts, or discussions, okay? She's my fave. Anyway, so if I see Cookie or if I see some villagers like Chief that I usually always have, I'll just go ahead and take them, which may still be the case when it comes to my dreamies. I think I should list my dreamies for you guys so you'll know who's an automatic snatch up and grab. <laughs> um, however, I know for this island, I would love to experience villagers I've never had before. Once again, that does not mean I'm going to pass on Cookie. Okay? Got it? We're good? Okay. I just want to make it clear. <laughs> what I'm doing now is placing these trees and flowers in the direction that I want my entrance to go. Just still marking it out. I know I want like a straight four to five path in the front. And then I want it to taper off widely of the angle kind of like built like a water molt around the entrance maybe have two or three bridges with a fountain in the middle presentation area well we, you, you guys will see let's just let's just move forward and it looks like planting these flowers actually got me a nook on my reward so this worked out Flower power. Planting flowers makes our island more beautiful and can earn mouths. Greenhouse flower? Okay. Ooh, we need to update our passport with these words. Let's not do that now. Let's focus on getting our island ready and together. There's so much fun things you can do in Animal Crossing. It's like it's so distracted. Speaking of distractions, I see a balloon. I gotta get it. Can't let a balloon go by. Gotta get it. Well, this one's blue, so most likely it's free resources. If it's yellow, I believe the balloon usually has bells. There's a chance that it won't. And if it's red, it usually has clothes. And if it's green, the balloon usually has furniture pieces. Which is really helpful with completing a furniture collection. So let's see what's in this present. Iron nuggets. It was blue and it gave us resources. Future distracted Milo here, and I saw another balloon. And it says that there's a chance that yellow balloons can give you bells, or can give you an item, or can give you resources. <laughs> you usually it's bells. Let's see what's in this present. 
a clothes closet. Okay. So now we know. Sometimes you'll get bills. Sometimes you'll get a furniture item. Which is great because I don't have one of these on this island. And I think it will be best if we change our clothes before we go see our villagers. I remember watching one of Natin Talk streams and Pat was wearing this meow shirt it, it, long story go watch the stream it's hilarious however he I think he was looking for a cat so it was believed that if you put on the colors of the villagers or something similar to the villagers then maybe you can get those villagers to pop so I think if we want cute villagers we should put on a cute outfit you know or at least jazz it up a little bit. We don't have much clothes selection. So maybe just take off those socks. I don't know. We're going to have to make something shake with what we got. I know these pink boots are just so cute. I want to wear them. It doesn't really go with anything else that we have. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Hold on. Let me get myself together. There we go. <laughs> you better hit it, girl. Hit the pose. Look at us, collecting another Nook Mile reward. Yay. All right, enough is enough. Let's go get these three villagers to fill these villager homes. Off to the airport we go. So to save you guys the hassle of having to see the same screen of loading up a flight, catching a flight, getting to the island, I'm going to go ahead and like speed through some of that and get to the goods, which is our villagers. I'm curious, who are you all's favorite villagers? If you were on a villager hunt, who are the villagers that if you see them, you have to take them? And who are the villagers that if I see them, you feel as though they will be great on Leilani? We finally made it, guys. Our first villager hunt island. I wonder who is over this hill. I see flowers. Could it be Cookie? Or... Ooh, Maddie! She's preppy. Should I take her? She's cute. She has on pink and white. Oh, she's so cute. I love the dogs at Animal Crossing. Oh, look at her little spunky preppy self. You're from Leilani. I've totes heard of someone, Tress Cool, who's from there. Maybe you know them. Their name is Milo. I really think we should get Maddie. We should take her. But since she's preppy, I wonder if taking her will remove other preppies from my queue. I love her. Not enough to pass up on Cookie. So we're going to keep going. And hopefully I get Cookie on the next island. Since it seems like the game is randomly giving us preppy villagers that's a good start before we go let's check shake these trees maybe get a wasp or a free furniture item got it that's our furniture piece Ooh, and it's a shower set too all right Maddie and a shower says might be a really good island. Anna Fossa? Dang, should we take her? <laughs> good island, good villager. Mm. I don't think I'm going to take her. Because if there's a possibility that I can have Cookie on this island from the jump, oh baby, I'll take it. So I'm going to chat with Wilbur, get him to fly me back to Leilani so I can get a flight to the next villager hunt island. Island 2. Here we go. Ooh, it's a cliff island. Good thing I brought my ladder. It's going to add a little suspense on who may be at the top. I see pears, which we have on our island, so I'm not pressed to get them right now. Yeah, I'm going to need some branches. And we don't have any coconuts on the island yet, so I will be taking these coconuts back with us. So we can start planting them on our beaches, getting those nook miles. 
we can always use more coconuts because they sell higher than our pears on our island and I would love to have them uniform and symmetrical on my beaches. Hmm, maybe we can even create a spot on the island where we incorporate some of the palm trees to just give height. I'm not the best ACNH decorator by far. However, with this island, I do want to just try things that I haven't done before. It's my forever island. I want it to be cute. I want it to be something that I enjoy to play with and complete. So I'm going to be razzling dazzling in things that I have not tried yet. All right, the suspense is killing me. Let's get up this hill and see who is at the top of these cliffs. And it is... Patty, no LaBelle. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. I like Patty. Don't get me wrong. I like Patty. She's cute. She's preppy. Love the preppy villagers. I just don't see her on Leilani right now. Maybe later. So I'm going to pass on her. But I will go ahead and take these flowers. I know we have lilies on Leilani already. But we can always use some more, especially when it comes to gaining points towards our three-star island, which is something that we're going to need so we can get terraforming and really start doing the place up. So excuse me while I get these flowers. We can probably place them around villagers' homes or along the walkway on our island. Yeah, these will be nice for that. So I'm just going to gather some and I'll see you guys back on island three. Here we are, once again, on Island 3. No? No singing? Okay, fine. Let's see who we have on the other side of this. Oh, no. Oh, no. I see him from here. Do I just get... Do, I, do we run? You know what? Let me just... Let's shake these trees. Let's get our furniture. Oh, it's a was? Our first was? Let's go. I got a was. That's our second was. That's fine. Let's check these trees. Let's get these furniture items. And then let's book it. Because what is this horse's name? It's not Ed. We know that. Let me find out his name. I think his name is Buck. Nut, if you buck. Nut, if you buck. Nut, nut, nut. We got our furniture piece. A throwback rocket. I'll take it, but I won't take you. I will not take you, Bucky boy. Oh, this isn't even Buck. This is Winnie. My apologies, young lady. <laughs> I don't want Winnie either. <laughs> so off to Island 4 we go. Island 4. Please let this be a villager that I can take because we we started off real strong with Maddie. It was looking good. Things were looking good for us. And we ran into... Who, who is this? I've never had this villager before. Looks like the mighty courageous lion. I've never, never had him before. But I'm not opposed. He looks like... Looks like a decent guy. Rex? Hmm. Rex, from what I read, Rex is lazy. His birthday is July 24th, which is coming up. Mm. Cool cat. Oh, okay. Well, I like that. Hey, Rex. You want to come to my island? Let's see if he'll accept our offer. It looks like we found our first villager that we're going to take is Rex. He's not who I would usually go to. But remember, I had Al. Okay. I had Al as a lazy villager. And is Sherb a lazy villager? Let me see. I feel like that's the worst that it gets. Is Al and Sherb. I, I, Sherb does have a sweet spot on my heart. However, he's not the brightest. If anyone watches Amanda Fowles episodes, which I'm pretty sure you guys do, she has Sher's personality spot on. So out of Al, Sherb, and Rex, 
Rex, you come on over with your cool cat self. And that's so cute that he says cool cat because he's a lion. You get it? I love him already. I am not playing around. We are on Island 5. Let's see who it is. Ooh. Who is, she? who is that? She has white and pink, which I love. With her little bob. It's giving and despicables. Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda, girl. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm from Leilani. Y'all, I like, okay. I like her. I don't like her outfit. I'm going to be honest. But we can change that. We can work with that. We can give her some clothes. We can give to her something, which we want her photo. So it's a middle part ball. Let's, let's pause there. This middle part bob, middle part bob cannot be changed. But I love her blush and the pink on her ears. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Rhonda. I've never had her on any of my islands. So this could, this could work out well, or she could piss me off. She could make all my other villagers unhappy, but she could get along quite well. I wonder what her house looks like. Let me see. Let me see if it's cute. Oh, but you know what? Your first three villagers, you get the default home. So we complete the DLC and she's on the island long enough. We can eventually get her home, which looks like... I'll post a picture here. So it's not bad. I can deal with that. Okay, we're on to girl. Come on. I'm, I mean, she's normal, and I have to choose a normal villagers. The normals aren't my favorite, but there are tons of them. So sure, Rhonda. Come on through, girl. So we have Rex and Rhonda. I have never had any one of them on my island before. So that's going to be a little different of an experience, which is great for a forever island. That way, it's giving me a chance to experience villagers that... Maybe I just passed up on them. They could be someone else's favorite. Are any of these you all's favorite? Have any of you ever had Rex or Ron? Oh. Bianca! Yes, 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 yes. She has on a pink shirt. She's a cutie, okay? Cutie, baddie, whatever you want to call I love her. I love her house. It's like a skyline. Let me show you. Let me show you. Wait, what? I thought she had a skyline. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking of Claudia. So have I? I don't think I've ever had Bianca, but I know she's on my like cute list. If you guys have the AC and A, I think it's called like AC Fans app. I'm on there. And I have like a list of all my favorite villagers. I'm going to figure out a way how I can give that and put that in either the description box or on the screen so you guys can see on one of these episodes. But Bianca's really cute. I would love to see her just walking around Leani. So, yes, ma'am. And we got a recipe. Let's see, is it a good recipe since it's a good villager? It's from Poppy. She's a cutie too. A log bench? Okay. Okay, I can definitely use a log bench on my camp area, around houses. This is a really good recipe. Let's get this fossil before we head on back. And oh my gosh, guys. We got three villagers. Without using more than ten tickets. We did it. We did it, guys. We have completed our first villager hunt ticket. Not that I love it. Anyways, <laughs> moving left and right along. <laughs> we have our three villagers. So let's go put all the items in their homes so Tom can't try us. And give us an auto fill. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look, it says so. Okay, so this is where Rex will be. Yay. Excuse my green chair. I got it out of a balloon. And I'll talk to you guys about, and I put this rocket here. I'll talk to you guys about my three star strat a little bit. Whenever I pop a balloon, I place that item that was in the balloon down right where I popped it. That way when Isabel comes and she tries to give me a rating for having placed items all over the island, it's good when they're in various spots. From my understanding, 
there's some type of Animal Crossing calculation on how many items are placed per pixel square. Let's not get all into that. So I just randomly placed them down. Hence me putting this rocket over there in this school chair over here. I put flowers here to mark off the villagers yard area. I want to make sure every villager has their yard. Ugh, it's gonna be so cute y'all. I'm so excited for us to start decorating and really building up this island. As you can see this is our second house so I'll hurry up. Let's put these items in there. We need wooden blocks, wooden table, lily wreath. Got it, got it. It's a good thing I have been crafting items as I get the recipe for them to get that check mark on the bottom of the DIY recipe. This way, now when I have to fill up items into these homes and put them outside, I already have a majority of them crafted. I'm not in a rush to complete the game, but being that I have done a lot of this maybe three, four times already in other restarts, I am pretty eager to start terraforming and decorating. So I'm not rushing, just being efficient. I'm going to use this time to gather materials, craft up these items. So go ahead, continue to play on your Switch, play along with me, and let's have a nice little relaxing crafting time. I love this garden chair and this garden table. Mm. Should, I put, ooh, should we put these two items in our hybrid garden? I may have to do that. It depends on how big this garden is. Oh, no, no, my pocket's being too full, babe. Lord, let me go fix that. I could put some items in this box. Okay. So I could put this wooden block table in there. That'll free up some pocket space as well. Okay, and these items need to go outside around the house. So whichever villager this home belongs to, they should really have a cute garden in their front yard. Ooh. Ooh, light bulb is going off, y'all. I think each villager 
should definitely have a decorated yard but they should each have their own decorated garden as well i love when the villagers are in the front of their home and they're watering the flowers or if they have that what is it the nature tree then they'll have their little book out looking at the bugs and looking at the flowers mm, this is gonna be so cute Alright, so the last item that we need outside this home is a bird bath. So let's craft one of those on a... Oh, I don't even require six stones. I don't know why I felt like they were always required at like 30 when I first started out. I felt like the bird baths were just really expensive in the resource department. Let's move this cute little frog on over and place our bird bath. All right, let's see, is that all the items for this home? Let's check our interior. Great, got them all. Mm -hmm. Oh, interior and exterior is completed. Let's go. And for our third home, let's craft up those items and place them in the box and decorate on the, well, I say decorate very, very loosely. We're just placing the items that Tom Nook wanted us to place. We'll decorate later. You know, when we get in our bag, honey. When we do that, we're going to have our custom coats. We're going to have our terraforming, our flowers. I'm so excited and so ready. Ooh, y'all, when are we going to go custom cold shopping? And we still need to make our map. Maybe we should have like a map planning episode sesh. Would you guys like for that to be a live stream or an episode? Mm, let me know in the comments. Classic picture, that's another Animal Crossing island that works so well in so many different places on the island. You can put it in an interior, you can put on an exterior, you can put on your camping site. If you want to build a restaurant, it works well there as well. And especially if you go see, what's that little llama's name? Cyrus? And he can customize it and put in different colors. The classic picture in the pot, I love, I love those items. So let's place these in here. All required interior items are done. Great. Now we can just find out what our exterior items are. And we can, okay. So a log garden lounge, a log stool, and a water pump. Got it. Hmm, okay, so I'm getting more like a farm rustic vibe for this yard. I could work with that as well. Maybe this villager will have a little cottage core vibe on the outside of their yard with some florals that match. Mm -hmm. I can, do y'all see the vision? Do y'all see it coming together? It's gonna be cute. All right, so I'll put the log stool here. Um, not quite sure if I like that. And let's put that little log lounge on this, on that side. And the water pump can be like in the front yard. Maybe you can like water their flowers Ooh, or it can fill up their, what is it called? The thing that you use to water your flowers. Yeah, your watering can. Why was that? Why was the word so far from my brain? <laughs> watering can. Yes. So they can use the watering pump to fill up their watering can. And on this side can be like their relaxing side of their yard. Oh, let me turn that around. Cause if they lay down on it this way, they'll just be facing their house, looking at the sky, which is a vibe too. I'm not knocking it. 
I like this item as well. Animal Crossing, ACNH, great job with our items, especially the 2.0 items. You, you did your big one. And I hope the items that they have in the next Animal Crossing are, if not better, just as cute. Let's move this over. And now that I'm sliding this over here, I'm thinking it will be really cute. Let me move this over a little bit because that log stool will be really cute next to this log bench. And maybe I can place either a book or a nice little glass of margarita next to or a coffee cup. Yes. Yes. For all those who are not of drinking age. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little arranging here. Get this yard a little cozier. I mean, we don't have much yet, but it's a great start. Yeah, so place that log so there and I'm gonna get get down. I wanna push it towards the back. Yes, yes, that way the villager can still hop on the log bench if they want. And I'll put this water pump back where we had it in as the watering can. Okay, you know what? I could just use the watering can that I have in my pocket. The little flimsy drone. It's pretty rusty. Oh, I can't see behind this tree. Okay, let me... Mm, it'll do for now. Especially since I haven't added any flowers or anything over here yet. It'll do. In, in the event I do get the recipe for the little wooden bucket, that would be cute over here as well. So let's just put another item out here that'll help this villager feel nice and home. Okay, so we have all the interior and all the exterior. This means all the home and furnishing prep work is done. Great job, guys. We're finally making progress on Leilani. Before you go, I wanted to show you this interesting interaction that happened between Drift and I earlier today. And y'all, he's gonna get evicted. Yep, he's getting evicted. He's a little too sassy for your girl. He's a little too rude. He had the nerve to say, I've been missing a leg day. Sir, you don't see these thighs? Yeah, so you know what? Let me just, let me just craft something, make my time useful while I'm here. Wow, you're really curious about the stuff in my house. Sir, I'm, it's, you're not the main character here. You're not the main character here, Drift. Yeah, y'all, so he gotta go. But thanks for watching. I had a really great time playing episode three with you guys. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.